Hi, this is Uncle Venti and today I'm going to show you how to install a trailer hitch and a wiring harness on our Jeep Commander. Woohoo! These are the tools that we will need uh, for the Should hitch. Should start with the parts? There's the hitch. The hitch is here and it and it's installs very simply. You have four bolts that, that screw through the bumper in, in, in the on the Jeep. And then you have the wiring harness, which installs on the lights on both sides, the passenger and the driver's side of the vehicle. So I'll show, we'll show you how to install that as well. We're hoping that it's really easy. We've heard it's not so hard. Yes. The, the tools I need for the hitch will be a screwdriver and, and maybe a putty knife to remove the, the plastic retainers. Uh, and then I'll need a torque wrench to tighten up the bolts to 75 foot pounds. Wait a minute, I missed the torque wrench. There it is. 75 foot pounds, and this is a, a three, three quarters of an inch or a 19 millimeter socket will work. Okay. And to install the wiring harness, again, we'll have to use a screwdriver and putty knives to remove the plastic retainers on the lights and remove the lights. Uh, I'll need a needle nose or or, uh, hemostats. or hemostats to uh, help me remove one of the one of the connectors. We use hemostats a lot for all kinds of purposes. They work really well. And I, I pre-fitted it and I couldn't find a good place to install the ground so we may have to drill a hole and install the ground uh, on the chassis somewhere so I have a self-tapping screw and, and a drill bit if a drill if necessary. Okay. So that's all the the parts and the tools necessary to install it. All right. What's the first thing you do? Well, I think we'll install the the hitch first. And the first thing you need to do is to go in and lower the tire so you can get in, get to the rear. Okay. So you take your your tire tools. You remove the, the cover on the, the the release, and you. Hopefully you guys know how to do this. I didn't the first time I got a flat tire, but I've got flat tires the tire all the time and I know how to do this now. It's not very difficult. And you drop the tire down. You can show them dropping all the tire right. going down. Here it ground. comes. There it is. Can you guys see is it? Is it on the ground yet? Nope. It's, it's almost there. So you need to take it all the way down and push it out of the way. You don't have to remove the tire. That's far enough. So then you just push the tire back out of your way. Excellent. Slide under here. And you'll need your screwdriver and your putty knives to remove the retainer. Oh, there are two plastic retainers. Should I get down under there so they can see? And I'll, I'll show you the retainers here in a minute. Okay. They pull out. I could climb underneath there. All right, there are two of these. They're just plastic retainers. There's a key on it. You slide this up in, and then you slide this inside of it with the key, and it expands it to hold it into, into hold the, the bumper cover. Oh, this on, is under the, this is this is what's holding the bumper on my holding car. The bumper cover off. How yes. about that? And there are two of them. I'd already removed one. Okay. So here's the other one. So there's only two of them that you need to remove. Okay. They're right there. They're just little plastic things. You can They've probably, seen them. You can probably get new ones if, if you break them. But Try they, not they to come break out them. Easily. Yes. You'll be fine. So, so that is done. So the next thing is to put, put, the, uh, put the actual hitch in. And so you have to push the bumper back, bumper uh, cover back just a little bit, so you can, you can get the hitch in there. You slide the hitch up into place. Should I get under there so they can see? I probably should. Hang on a minute, people. Here I go. Oh, can you? you can probably get under here. Oh yeah, much better. Can you guys see so that? So you just got to got to work this in here. It's a tight fit. Use your putty knife. You slide it in place and you align it with the four 
four hose in the bumper and then you insert your your four bolts and then we'll tighten them up to 75 foot pounds wow that is not that is not difficult at all Yes. Can you guys see that? That looks great. So now I'll tighten these up a little bit. Okay. Okay. So Uncle Andy's going to tighten up all of the bolts and then we'll move on. So it has a tape? No. Okay, I'm taping now. You're not supposed to be taping, that's right. Okay, we'll tape now. Okay, now Uncle Vinci is has got his torque wrench and he's torquing the the bolts down and what did they torque to? It's supposed to be 75 foot pounds. 75 foot so pounds. So I'm going to torque it in stages here. All right there's 60 foot pounds. And why do you do that? Just I'm just doing it to keep it even. Okay so you go and you do each one to just, 60 and then you're going to finish it off. Because I haven't done it before. 75 okay. Hear the click. All right. This is 60 foot pounds, and then I'll go to 75. That was 60? 75 is going to be hard to do. No, it won't take much. All right, I've torqued it to 60 foot pounds so far, so I'm going to do the final torquing to 75 foot pounds. One, two, three, and the last one. Uh -huh. So the hitch is now installed. Woohoo! That was not very now, difficult. I need the two retainers, plastic retainers to. to <laughs> bumper guard back on and those are keyed so I'll just stick stick the, the base through here and then put the expander in there gotta get the key right though Maybe I should put the key in first that's okay on the other one, I'll leave the key in. Just somewhere, I think. There it is. So that's one. And then here's the second one. I don't know if I can. can you I guys can't see, see this. That? You probably yeah. can't see that from over there. I don't think we can see that very well. I'm going to hold the camera here. If you guys can see it, great. If not, what? All right. You saw one. The other one's just the same. Yep. And let's see if I can get it in there. So how I, I cannot see. You can't see it either? either? No, I'm having trouble seeing the key. There it is. All right. All right. There we go. That's good. Excellent. So All right. So now the the now I'm going to show you how to install the wiring harness. First thing you need to do is to remove both the tail lights. There are two retainers here. Get your putty knife and your, your screwdriver and get under the under the retainer and then po just simply pop it out. It's a little cover. Yeah, a little plastic cover. It's another one of the little plastic things that expands when you put put it in, expands it and fills up the hole. Holds it in place, right. So we got two of those on each side. Stick it under there. Yeah, you can see it. And you pop it out of there. Just gently pop it out with your with your tube. Pry it out. And there's the second one. All right. Great. So now the there's another retainer in the back. So you just pull the, the light back, release the retainers, and now your light has been removed. Uh, so next, what I'm going oh, to do not heavy, the light. is to uh, insert a screwdriver into the, in the connector. I find this easier to do. 
just to help release the, the connector. It's a little tricky. It's not easier just to pull them apart. And you gotta you, go. you gotta release it. Oh oh you gotta push on it to release it, okay. So now the wiring harness has, has been removed. Okay. So now the the driver's side you need the yellow side. So we will root that from the bottom of the of the vehicle. Up into the hole. Okay, I'm going to be threading it up underneath. Underneath. It you would then out. attach one side to the vehicle and snap it in, mm -hmm. and then the other side to the, to the light. light and snap it in. It's almost idiot proof. Ta -da. So this side is done. Okay, do we have to feel? Yeah. Now you have to have to root the, the okay. wiring. There, there is a is a, a connector in here that needs to be installed up under there and we will do that in a minute. Let's okay. go ahead and, and pull the wiring harness across to the other side and we will tie these wires up so that they're not dragging on the ground. Yes, that would not be so good. Out of, the, out of the way. But you need to route the wire over to the other side. And what's it going under when you're rooting it? It's just going under the bumper here. Oh, okay. We have some tie, uh, tie wraps that we'll use to tie it up. Okay. To, to keep it up there. Do those come in the kit? Uh, yes, they did. Excellent. And we also have a wire that goes to the trailer itself. And that we will root over to the center as well. Okay. So that is done. We'll have to. Uh, there's some double stick of tape to stick the connector up here. And we'll do that later. So now essentially you're going to do that same thing on the other side. Yeah, so we bring the wiring harness over to the other side and root it up. This side you got to be a little bit more careful because there is, is the tailpipe here. So we'll root it up here and we'll We will tie it so it doesn't hit the tailpipe. The tailpipe. Yes, that won't be good. So we connect. Wiring and heat don't go well together. Into the there, and then let me get the other light. I'm letting in the water dry out. And it's watering on the lights. Has it dried out? Uh, Somewhat. Mostly. We'll go ahead and install it right now. I can drain it later if necessary. All right, so. This is the, the light, and we will connect it to the light, and I had, had removed this as well. Is that the, the wiring coming in the correct way? I think it's... It'll be fine. Okay. All right. So now we just need to kind of root this down and snap it back in. We didn't. Just kind of got it. Seems like something's holding it. Like uh, the wiring isn't the wiring out of the is, way. Is, is, is a little in the way right now. You just got to kind of so you just it push up. it around and make sure the wiring gets out of the way. And then you snap the light back snap, in place and then you're going to replace everything on the light to tighten it back and up. And then we put, put our re retainers back in and snap in and push in. Snap in, push in, so that that side is done, and then your passenger side is done as well. I'm telling you, this is not all that hard. Whoops. Not there that go. difficult. Okay. So now we're done. We can raise the tire back up. The last thing I'm doing is I've rooted the wires across, and now I'm using tie wraps to secure them and I'm securing it to the wiring harness for the wiring that goes across to the passenger side light. 
So I'm just, just securing that with, with the tie wraps to, to the, the wire that goes across. Hi. So he's just, he just tying those up to get them out of the way just and to, to keep them secure so they don't fall down, keep them in place. That's right. And then the last thing I need to do is to, is I need to drill a hole. I've already started it here. And that is to mount the... Uh... He already had the hole drilled. No, it didn't sound like it went through. It did. It didn't. It, it's already drilled. He already I drilled it. it. He pre-drilled anyway, it. Anyway, this is the grounding lug. And so I'm using a self-tapping screw. But I, I did pre-drill it to make it easier. It would have been very difficult. It may still be difficult. I don't know. And this is this is to put the ground wire in. This is the ground wire. This is the ground wire. This is the harness. And there was not a spot on our vehicle for the ground wire. Now there might be on yours, but at, on well, the Jeep Commander there was not. There's but, not. A, but it was a very spot. simple thing to do. It's not uh, difficult. This whole process of installing the hitch and the wiring harness is very simple. Yes. Even I could have done it. I didn't. Uncle Vinty did it, but uh, you don't need to pay someone. I don't know how much they charge to do this, but you don't need to pay someone to do this. We ordered the hitch online. This is yes. by a company called Kurt. Should've and we it. just looked online and we found the... Hole, I think. What was it? Should have drilled a little bit larger pilot hole, but Oops, Uncle Vinci didn't do it large enough pilot hole. Pretty, pretty hard steel here. Do you want to drill a larger hole? No, it's fine. You can get a larger drill bit. It's going in. Okay. But what we did was look for the company that sold this particular hitch for the least pri lowest price, and we ordered it. I will post that price. I don't remember the name off the top of my head. But I will post that on the bottom if you look down in the notes. Yep. I am so psyched. So now we've bought the trailer, we've got the hitch installed. Next step is to go and get it inspected. Get inspected. And then go to the DMV and pay my money and get my license. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so those are the steps. That's it. You went we could come back showing it hitched up and lighting up the we trailer. will we'll do that we'll show you once we got it all going um with the ball on it can you put the thing in with the ball on it oh the receiver receiver yes i've got to get the slides proper coming out the receiver slides in and, the and put it in correctly and the ball hitch goes on Woo -hoo! we are ready to go all right, we will, once we hook it up to the trailer, we'll actually take some video and show you that it actually works and lights the lights up. Woohoo!